Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you, uh, how to uh, replace the biodefense filter in the Tesla Model Y. And um, from uh, 2021, I think most of the Model Y after that uh, comes with the biodefense filter. So in here, I'm going to show you how to replace the new one because this car is almost a year now. And uh, the, the filter is actually quite large. So and also our filter has um, activated carbon so can remove uh, some organic uh, compound and also um, just uh, let you know that if any one of you are looking for a wiper our silicon wiper is very very good smooth quiet and also uh, has water repellent uh, formula inside so uh, let's let's get started uh, now we go to the front and I will demonstrate you how to remove the field panel and then to replace it. Uh, so we are in the front, uh, in the front of the car now. So um, for any one of you who is uh, in looking forward to upgrade your um, HEPA filter or maybe biodefense filter, uh, we have uh, for sale in our website. So uh, it only costs around a hundred US dollar for four big pieces. So if any one of you are interested, uh, feel free to check out our website or the link below. And um, first of all, if you want to uh, deassemble de the the front part of this, uh, you will need to prepare a T20 screwdriver and a uh, 10 mm uh, hex hex uh, socket. So uh, make sure you have this, otherwise you, 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 you will not be able to take it out. So first of all, uh, I have unbolted all the screw already because I'm, I'm just um, filming, uh, recording, you know, just by one person. So first of all, you want to take out this panel here. It's actually basically just clip on. So what you need to do is just go up. Oh, I already unclipped some of them because just make it easy for me one-handed. So remove it and then uh, so th uh, that's the first part. Take away this part. So you already can see the filter here. But in order to assess the filter, you will need to take the bottom part in here. So let me put away this um, panel here first. So we are back. Um, now we want to take away this one, uh, this bucket here. It's, it's very simple as well. So first of all, you have to remove the hex uh, bolt in here. So a uh, tool bolt, uh, it, it would be just looks like this. And then one bolt at, in here, and then one more bolt in here. So total four bolt. And then one more, one more tips is here. It has a plastic uh, clip in here. So I have already uh, untied it. So basically you can use a flat screw screwdriver. Uh, so it, at the beginning it's, it's actually locked. So what you need to do is use a flat screwdriver or maybe a plastic um, plier to, to put it, uh, unlock it and then you can just take it away. So, and after that, the whole thing is actually very, very easy to remove. So one one tip is that you do just make sure you don't take up all the way in a hurry because there is a wire here. If you uh, lift it up too too much force, you might actually damage the wire here. So make sure you you have uh, unplug disconnect this wire in order to take take away the bucket. So let me uh, take away the. Uh, let me try to, to remove it. So, this actually I already damaged the connector. That's why it's so, it looks so easy to remove it. So uh, let, let me remove this bucket because I'm only one handed. So that's all, all I can do. So we are back in the car. Um, so this is the HEPA filter here. And if you look carefully, the, the intake is actually underneath here, going into into the car, and the white. The white sorry, I just uh, click on the uh, press on the button stop. So this one is actually the intake. So 
So what you want to do is take lift this up. Well, first of all, you have to remove the bolt. So this this part is secured by two bolts. So one on the left and one on the right. And I have already unbolted. So basically, unbolt, unbolt, and then lift this up, go in this way. So see, uh, that easy. So the intake is already here, and you can see the filter is here. So all the air will pass through the filter and and go into the car. So uh, let me show you how to change the filter. So this is the main part of the filter. So uh, to change the filter, you just have to unbolt all the screw here. So basically, uh, there are five screw in here. So T20 of them, and then also in, in the back. So I will do the job, and then I'll show you what's like what is like inside. Uh, so we are back after unbolt all the screw. So in total, there are ten, I think. Yeah, there are ten. So uh, let's remove the cover of it. So basically, here's the um, filter intake, uh, a normal, you know, cotton filter. Uh, it's still pretty clean because I don't drive the car very much, to be honest. Uh, yep. And then this is the bottom part. Uh, the bottom part looks a bit more darkish color than the front because this one do not filter PM 2.5 this one is properly uh, less filtration and this one is heavier on filtration so um, yep and then uh, we we will replace the factory filter to our HEPA filter here so uh, so I will do the job here because I don't have I only have one hand to do it uh, depending on where you live so if you are living in a more polluted or maybe more fire uh, location you or maybe you always turn on the the bio defense um, filter because normally I, I use the in um, the how do you say circulation filter so uh, this one just a small tip this one is actually sealed with the rubber so you you just have to this one pull it up in order to remove remove this filter because this one is actually quite stuck so uh, I, I need two hands one hand holding the bracket or maybe I just put it push it from the back yeah this is how you remove this filter uh, so I have put the first layer in uh, now so uh, you can see that although I'm not using the filter very often you can see this one is a little bit um, gray and this one is still white this one is brand new so this one is a bit darker so I carry on to replace the filter here hi uh, so uh, I have now replaced the filter so you can see the old one is a little bit darker the new one is white uh, so I just put it back together and then uh, so basically just the same way you take it off um, and then Hold it back together. Uh, that's that's it. And then I will show you how to put it back later. So we are back in the car. So I can hear already the aircon is running. So well. So first of all, I just put it back. Uh, yeah, it's uh, harder for me to do it one-handed. So uh, one very. Uh, what you need to do is just align it back to the. The, uh, there's a pin in here so just align it back to the pin and then make sure that your white ceiling, ceiling is actually covering uh, the intake and after that uh, just put back the bolt uh, put the bucket and then uh, remember to connect the light and just put back all the screw together and that's all for the job. It's pretty easy. So thanks for watching. See you next time.